All right, so now that we have a basic overview about how the whole program works, let's get, start getting into a little bit of the meat and potatoes. The first thing that we want to do is get our big goals, right? Our yearly goals. And then we're going to break those down. This is not something I made up. This is something that's been around for a long time. Usually, this is what you would set up maybe for a New Year's resolution or something that you would do every quarter, all right? So it's, 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 it's going to be pretty easy to do. Um, as far as the numbers go, I, they're not going to be exact, but you're going to understand exactly what I'm talking about. So what we need to do is set our yearly goals, right? Usually it's financial first, for the most part. Most people need extra money, right? 79% of the population in America right now live paycheck to paycheck. It might even be a little bit more because of the COVID uh, situation that we have now. You know? And uh, also, I don't know if you know this, but 75% of all businesses in America is only run by one person. It's a, it's a solo practitioner, it's a solo business person, and the average income is only $44,000. Um, I learned that from Grant Cardone, by the way. And he, told, he said, in, in his interview, he had said, $44,000 is not even a business. He goes, uh, I forget the word that he uses, but I'll tell you what, that's very stressful. For $44,000 to be your own boss, I would rather work for someone else. So um, this will help you with, a lot, with that and get you back on the right track. So let's say, for, just for sake saying, you want to make $100,000 in a year. Right? And you're like, oh man, you know, if you're making $44,000 and now you want to make $100,000, well, that's a big jump. You know, I don't even know where to start. You, know, you can keep writing down $100,000 every day, but unless you have, figure out a, some kind of a plan or something that you want to do, it, it may never happen. So we need to start breaking this down. So the easiest way is to break it down into quarters. Right? That's what the big companies do. They give you their quarterly reports. Right, so they can backtrack and see how their business is doing, and that's how they rate themselves, and that's how other businesses rate them. That's how the financial world rates them. Right? So you have you know, quarter number one, quarter number two, three, and four. So if you want to make $100,000 in a year, right? what you want to do, you need to make $25K each of these quarters. All right, so now we have quarters. That's roughly three months, right? So what we want to do is now break it down a little bit more into months, right? So if we're taking this 25K in the first quarter, we want to break that down into like a month one, a month two, and a month three. All right, so that's going to be, uh, I don't have a calculator, but roughly like 8 point, I don't know, say 1.5, thousand dollars a month right 8.15 K 8.15 K I'm not a mathematician so that's probably gonna be off but you understand what I'm trying to say all right so these are done by the month right so these are months now and then of course they, they follow all the way through down into the second third and fourth quarter so you you're gonna get that's not even a quarter, is it? <laughs> now it's a quarter. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a mathematician, but you, said, you, you basically get it, all right? So, um, eight. So now we've got four months, and we want to break that down even further, because again, $8,000, you're thinking $8,000, all right? All right? What can I do every day to, to get to that $8,000? So we're going to break it down even a little more specific, all right? So, um, so it's actually not even eight. It's probably more like six. So we're going to take that 6.15 or 6K, all right? Um, let's just say 6K for the month. And now we're going to break it down into weeks. So that's four, all right? We're going to just keep doing this. We're going to keep breaking this down until we can actually see a point where it's actually manageable, right? So 6,000 divided by four is 1.5. Okay, so $1.5,000 a 
in a week. So now we're getting a little bit more like reality. It's like, well, you know, if I was making only $500 a week and I only need now, you know, to make another $1,000 a week, it, it's manageable. You know what I'm saying? So we can think, start thinking, especially for our heads. We need to be able to think and believe that we can do this, right? So if we go through it and we have a, a, a plan, now we can start putting a plan together. But let's just take it down into the day, right? So 1.5 divided by 7 is roughly, what, 200 bucks a day or something like that? Uh, I'm, I'm guessing. So this is a day. So now you, go, now you only have to make $200 a day. So now it's like, okay, well, maybe I need to just, what can you sell that you can sell something that you can make $200 a day? What, could you, what do you have to do to go out and get some extra business to make only $200 a day? So that's a little bit easier now, right? So now you can start making a plan off of that $200 a day. So when I'm looking at this number here, I'm going, okay, well, if I need to make $100,000 in a year, all I need to do is make $200 in a day. That's more of reality. That's more something that you can feel comfortable about going out and doing. So that's, this is the main goal, all right? This is your big, big time goal. And we're going to break down into how that's going to fit into everything else that we're doing. So let's get to the next point.